Hi everyone. In the last session we have seen about the drying process. So in this session we can continue the types of dryer used for drying. So first we have seen about definition, purpose, mechanism of drying, phases of drying, factors affecting the drying rate and uh, field of application. Uh, then we have seen about the types of dryers like tray dryer, cabinet dryer and its uh, working application and also we have seen about the spray dryer, its working uh, application, disadvantages and advantages. And now we shall see about another one of the important type of dryer that is drum dryer. So, what is the principle behind the drum dryer? So first, indirect, uh, it is an indirect type continuous moving bed dryer and the suspension or a slurry to be dried forms a thin layer around the surface of the roller and gets dried. So how will you construct it? So first construction, uh, it consists of one or two horizontally mounted hollow drums made of high grade cast iron or stainless steel, a supporting frame, a product feeding system, a scrapper, storage bin or conveyors, drum speed regulator and other axillaries. So the diameter of the typical drum ranges from 0.5 meter to 6 meters and the length from 1 meter to 6 meters. So how does it work? So first the liquid to be dried is placed in a shallow pan and the hollow rotor is mounted in the shallow pan with liquid. As the rotor starts to move the liquid from the thin film or from the thin film on the surface of the rotor. The rotor can be heated by passing steam inside the rotor and the liquid forming film gets dried quickly. The process can also be fastened by blowing air on the film. Then the film is spread uniformly with the help of spender attached to the assembly. And um, the dried product is scrapped by using the scrapper and this scrapper is named as the doctor blade. And the product is collected in a product bin okay so this is the simple working of the drum dryer so the drum can be either consist of one drum or two drums depending upon the capacity or the um, type of industry which is used so where are these drum dryers are used first they are used to the products of thicker consistency like milk products cooling antibiotics yeast bacterium carbonates etc and what are the advantages of this? So first it, it needs a less time for drying and it is useful for thermoliable substance and it occupies a lesser space. So what are the disadvantages? The disadvantages include higher investment, higher maintenance cost and skilled operators are needed. So these are the advantages and disadvantages. So that's all for the drum dryer and next we can see about the microwave dryer. So what is the principle of this microwave dryer? Microwave radiation is passed through the solids to be dried and this energy is converted into internal heat by the uh, interaction with the material. Therefore the liquid inside the solid is vaporized and diffused to the surface and hot air is used to rapidly sweep the moisture vapor from the drying chamber and thus rapid drying is achieved by the theory of pressure gradient principle and what is the working so on seeing of working the material to be dried is placed on the conveyor belt and allowed to move into the oven chamber and oscillating electric field of 915 or 2450 mhz is supplied and the microwave energy is interacted with the polarized molecules and ion of the material as the field reverses polarity it relaxes and allow the molecules to return to their random orientation in this process the stored potential energy is released as kinetic or heat energy and this interaction of the alternating field with ions causes brilliant ball like collision with the unionized molecule which impacts the energy is also converted into a heat energy and the heat generated inside the material makes the moisture get vaporized and subsequently diffused into the surface of the solid this process is quite rapid compared to the liquid diffusion which is very slow and thus the rapid mass transfer is achieved simultaneously a steam of hot air is passed through the dryer so that the the moisture vapor is swept away from the solid surface. So what are the advantages? 
and microwave treatment can also be used in the last stage of hot air drying particularly during the second falling rate period thus the last traces of moisture can be removed and the total drying rate period is reduced by 50 percentage at a low pressure and a moderate temperature thermoliable substance can be dried and energy utilization is very efficient and disadvantages cost of the equipment is high and uh, the uh, it occupies more space and electromagnetic interface may occur and vibration and dielectric properties with the temperature can also occur and what are the applications and seeing of application microwave puffing and drying of food powder processing of meat microwave sterilization preservation of food takes place so thank you so much for listening to my lecture thank you